Hi everyone, welcome back to another box of Wink. And we all know Nancy's motto, Thirsty is no way to live. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I just want to remind you guys that I do have a giveaway going on. I will have the video linked someplace up here. Um, the deadline is that it will close on Sunday the 25th, I believe. And I've been adding a few more things to the giveaway. I don't want to show everything that's in the giveaway so that whoever wins will have a surprise. All the rules, everything you need to know will be in that video linked above. Again, thank you guys so much for stopping in. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to see you guys. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you hit that little red subscribe button over there. I'd love to have you come back and join us for future videos. Today, I'm super excited. I'm losing my voice, but you know what? I don't care. It's a wink wine day so i have got a new box of wink wine it's my eighth box from them so eight months i've been doing this i'm just really looking forward to trying new wines from all over the world and it's just really really fun for me and um yeah i, I never really thought i'd get into this and when i first thought of doing wink diaries uh, last year or whatever i'm like you know i have you know a video a month or something yeah it's a lot more than that but yeah it's a lot of fun so thank you guys so much so if you are new and you're like what the heck is wink i will have it linked below i'll also have a video up here to explain my first wine, wink wine video from them my first unboxing and how that went and it's just really a lot of fun i'll have my link below if you use my link it's going to take you right to the wink website You'll get your first four bottles for $29.95. Shipping is free. If you use Rakuten Ebates, that's going to pop up and you're going to get $9 cash back. Oh my gosh, that's four bottles of wine for $29.95. No shipping, free shipping. And you know, even though that's good for you, you know what's good for me? I get a free bottle of wine if you use my link. Yeah. So anyway, when you use that link, it's going to give you a quick questionnaire about different foods that you like. And from there, they're going to curate a box for you. And if you know your wines, you know what you like, you can pick any wines you want. You don't have to use what they pick for you. They don't, you don't have to use what they recommend. You can use, buy whatever is on their website that you want to buy. I know, that's awesome. And um, again, if you decide you like it and you want to go with it for the second month, uh, the next month, it's going to be $59.95. Shipping, of course, is free. I would get a second bottle of wine. I know. That's really super, super cool. But anyway, so for my eighth, and again, I'm going to have um, that first video up there. I'm going to have a playlist at the end um, that's going to have all the different Wink wines that I've tasted so far, the different kind of costumes and dresses that I'm wearing because, you know, I work from home. I've been working from home since I got sick last year. And, um, yeah, most of the time I don't put on makeup, and some days I don't even have the energy to get dressed, and I just work in my pajamas. I mean, who cares, right? So, but when Wink comes in, oh, I do a video for you guys. I just kind of want to dress up, even if I go a little crazy with hats and fascinators and jewelry and just crazy. It's just really, really fun. But anyway, the bottles that I got. So I have went back to getting uh, three reds and a white because I know I'm gonna winter's going to be coming. I'm going to want some of the red wines again. So I've got a wine from California. I got one from France, one from Spain, and the one that I'm opening tonight is a Pinot Noir from South Africa. So this is from... Uh, Cape Root, and last month I had a white wine from them that was really, really awesome. So again, this is a 2021 20, Pinot Noir. Pretty little label. I know, so much fun. So anyway, let's pour a little in the glass and give this a little taste. Alrighty. So I can see that it's coating my glass. It tells me that it's got some um, a higher alcohol content. It's pretty translucent. I mean, uh, I'm not, not sure if you can see it, but I can see the light through it. It's kind of like a light purpley red. 
and I do have it at room temperature. I'm just going to kind of swirl it around, get get it aerated a little bit, get all those aromas and fragrances to unleash after being bottled up. It's going to bring all those aromas, the fragrances right to the top. So when I sniff it, hopefully I'm going to be able to guess what fruits or anything else that's in here. Alrighty. So it's very sweet. So I can smell cherry, uh, strawberry, and something spicy like pepper. Alrighty. Hope you guys had a fantastic week and you are ready for a great weekend. I know I'm ready. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Yes, it's a nice, nice dry wine. I can taste the oak from maybe it being aged in an oak barrel for a little bit. Just some really nice tannins, soft tannins though. Uh, you can feel it kind of dry the inside of your mouth, the top of your palate. But as you go to swallow it, it gets back to the back of your mouth. Oh my gosh, the acidity from those fruits kicks in your mouth starts watering. I'm going to say you're welcome that you are not right here in front of me because uh, you would be covered with spittle. My mouth is watering that much. Yeah, it's really, really good. You can taste the cherry. You can taste the strawberry. It's got the spiciness of the pepper. And because it's room temperature, it's like those flavors. They're warm, they're vibrant, and it just really, it's really, really fun. Alrighty, so before I get too long, let's go to my cheat sheets. Alrighty, so again, 2021, it's Cape Root Pinot Noir. It's from the Western Cape, South Africa. It's a new wine for Wink. Only 79 people have tasted it and rated it so far, and it's got a 4 out of 5. I know I'm going to give it a 5. So anyway, it says it's tart, fruit forward, easy drinking. It's got a medium body, dry, and 13.6% alcohol. It says tasting notes of pomegranate, red cherry, strawberry, and white pepper. And it's from the renowned California winemaker, Ernest Strom, that comes this vivacious Pinot Noir from his native South Africa. So he divides his time between his vineyards in South Africa and his vineyards in California. And he just kind of blends old world with the new world and just has some really, really great wines. i um, just going to skip around here. So it says this Pinot Noir is a red fruited brood beauty with hints of spice and zippy acidity. It's zippy, all right. It's a perfect summer red, light, bright, and fruit forward, just like the meandering scenic road that it's named for, a stretch of the longest wine route on earth. Cape Root is one of South Africa's best kept secrets. It says, I uh, serve it at room temperature. It pairs well with burgers, pork, barbecue, and fries. Again, it's really, really nice. They're saying it's a summer wine for me. This is a great wine for me to go into fall and winter. For me, the summer wines are like light and fruity, things like that. But going into winter, I'm going to enjoy this. Actually, I'm going to enjoy this tonight. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for taking a few minutes out of your day. And we will see you guys next week for bottle number two. Hi everyone, welcome back for bottle number two. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and join me again. We had two hot days in a row. We've been have, feeling more like fall. Nice crisp air at night down in the 60s. And the last two days we've been really close to 90. It's hot and sticky, but the nights are still cooling down. So anyway, happy Friday everyone. So for our second bottle, we have a Sauvignon Blanc. This is from France and it's Sauvetage. It's the winery. Anyway, I'm going to pour a little bit in my glass here. Check it out. I hope you guys have some great plans for the Labor Day weekend, even if it's just to stay at home, relax, binge watch some TV, get some extra sleep in. It's what it's all about, just kind of relaxing, having fun. Alrighty, so let's see what we can sniff here. It smells tart. I like grapefruit back here. Maybe lemon, maybe some pineapple. Anyway, cheers, everyone. So excited to see you guys because, yeah, you know it's not healthy for me to drink alone. Cheers. It 
it is tart you can really taste that pineapple but in a good way it mixes with that pineapple so it's kind of sweet it is a dry wine you can feel the tannins right up up front so you can feel your mouth kind of dry off dry out as the fruits get back here then your mouth just starts to water those flavors just start bouncing off each other so anyway trying to keep this short so again it's 2020 it's a Selfetage Sauvignon Blanc it comes from France it's a pretty much a new wine out of the 30 people that have tasted this it's come up with a rating of 4.4 it says it's refreshing tropical and flavorful it's got a light body it's dry alcohol is 13 percent it says tasting notes are gooseberry lemon rind pineapple and pink grapefruit and french for rescue this is a french sauvignon blanc at its best bright refreshing and ready to make your day even better friday on a four day weekend yeah you, you don't get much better than that right unless it's a five day weekend okay so you may think you know sauvignon blanc but the 2020 sauvetage is here to shake things up this little french number is vinified as naturally as possible which lets the true spirit of the wine shine through and then let's see i'm just going to get to the end here so it's a home run with creamy cheeses and early spring dishes featuring asparagus green peas artichokes or white fish it's 111 calories it says serve how to serve it is chilled it says it pairs well with poultry sushi cheeses and veggies so anyway i am looking forward to having this i am getting ready to also do another wine diary i'm gonna have a little bit of this with my appetizer and then i'm gonna have two new wines with it as well so anyway i hope you guys go out enjoy the weekend have a great time enjoy yourself and we will see you next week for bottle number three Hi everyone, welcome back to bottle number three from my week wine club. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another Friday of wine tasting. I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you so much for stopping in. This week we have another newer wine two week. This is a from Spain, all the way from Spain. I didn't have to leave my couch or anything. So it's a Spanish red blend. It's from Spartico. It says it's organic wine and it says it contains no detectable sulfites so anyway it says that you should serve this decanted but because i'm only going to have this this glass i don't want to decant it so i did pour my glass earlier and just kind of let it sit and i used my aerator when i poured it as well so anyway let's get into this so it is a nice it's a deep kind of red purpley color it's got some nice legs on this it's coating my glass really well so that tells me that there is a higher alcohol content in here it's going to kind of swirl this around get some air in there let the fragrances release and yeah just see if we can guess what's in here i hope everyone had a great week this week oh my god it's chilly it's about 58 it's been raining all day just damp cold feeling oh this smells good I smell chocolate, maybe like clove, maybe some cinnamon, maybe raspberry, blueberry. Just really smells nice. A lot of nice flavors. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. Man, this is nice. It's got some nice tannins in here. You can feel it dry. The front of your mouth the top of your palate instantly it's got that nice kind of oaky flavor like it was aged in some nice oak barrels it gets to the back of your mouth the fruits kick in it's got some high acidity your mouth starts watering like crazy and those flavors just come alive that acid from the fruits just brings all those flavors out so anyway this says it is a 50 percent cabernet 50 percent tempranillo um you should serve it decanted they say the best temperature is like between 59 and 63 so slightly chilled 
um, out of the 321 people that have tasted this, it's been rated 3.9 out of 5, so that's pretty good. It's got a medium body. Sweetness is dry, and it's 14.5% alcohol, so it is a little higher. The tasting notes um, are blackberry, blueberry, chocolate, and raspberry. It's a unique blend of Tempranillo and Cabernet Sauvignon. It's organic, vegan, natural, and contains no detectable sulfites. Um, it says, um, I'm just going to get to the bottom of my notes here. It says the result is a medium bodied red that has blue and blackberry baking spice and chocolate notes. It's a wine that's ideal for Spanish tapas, cured meats, and hard cheeses. It says it's best to serve a decant to decant it. Pairs well with pasta with red sauces, cheeses, cured meats. And veggies. Again, this is really a nice flavor, whether you're just uh, maybe sipping with some friends, having a charcuterie board or some appetizers or having a nice dinner. I think it's a perfect wine. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me, and we will see you next week when we do bottle number four. Hi everyone, welcome back to Bottle 4 from my Wink Wine subscription. I love this subscription so much. I'm having so much fun tasting different wines from all over the world, having somebody pick wines from me based on what I've wrote back to them in my reviews and how I answered my questions. They've really been spot on on picking some wines for me. So anyway, description again will be below if it's something you are interested to use my link. And yeah, we, I would get a free bottle. You would get your first four bottles for $29.95. Plus if you have Rakuten Ebates, you get like $9 cash back. So cool. So anyway, this is a 2019 blend. It's a red wine blend from California. It's from Lost Poet. And it says, wine is poetry. And on the back, it says, watch carefully the magic that occurs when you give a person just enough comfort to be themselves. So anyway, I hope you guys had a fabulous week. Oh my gosh, it's Friday. I have been on the phone all day long. I know my voice is not long for this world, so but I wanted to come on and share this with you. So I want to thank you guys so much popping in this is a beautiful it's a deep purple color deep purple color it's really coating my glass nice that tells me it's got a higher alcohol content such a pretty shade and anyway, we're going to swirl this around weather has been beautiful we've had some chilly days some chilly nights down like in the 40s and 50s but it feels fabulous so anyway oh i've got to sniff it oh my gosh I smell cherry, maybe plum, maybe some raspberry, maybe some oak. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Mm. This is nice. So you feel the tannins right away. You kind of get that oak barrel type sensation that it was aged in an oak barrel. It dries the top of your mouth a little bit right away, the inside of your cheeks. But then you can taste the, the plum, the cherry, the raspberry just kind of come alive. This is smooth. It's rich. It's got a nice body. It's almost like a really nice Merlot with that kind of velvety texture. really feels nice. It tastes nice. It's slightly sweet. It's I mean, it's dry, but it's got some sweetness to it as well. All right, so let's see what Wink says about this. All right, so 20... 19 last poet blend out of the 1700 people that rated it, it got a 4.3 out of 5 it says it's velvety juicy and flavorful it's got a full body slightly sweet 14.1 percent alcohol it says the tasting notes are butterscotch dark cherry plum and raspberry and it says a good wine a good bottle of wine should take you on a journey it should make you feel something and that's I guess by the poet Atticus and I'm just going to get down to the bottom um, and since we leave poetry to the experts what better way to end than with Atticus's word about last poet 
Wine is poetry, and so is life. So drink on and live on and write yours richly. It says you should serve this at room temperature or slightly chilled. I should have read, read it earlier. I put this in the refrigerator early this morning. So mine is, as you can see, it's coating my glass with that condensation. So it's probably a little too cold, but it still tastes great. It says it pairs well with pizza, pasta with red sauce, chocolate cake, and fruits. We should do all four, right? right we should do all of it right now so anyway i want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me i will have more information below if you are interested in trying this i'll have a video linked up here and some videos uh, linked at the end for this as well i hope everyone goes out has a fabulous weekend thanks so much for spending time with me you guys you guys rock so anyway take care everyone stay safe be kind be happy enjoy life have some fun. Go write some poetry. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.